With the Police and Thieves film, um, I came, I, I tour around the world, I, I create music, I create, this is like my sixth, seventh documentary. I've done documentaries in Zambia, I've done documentaries in um, Cote d'Ivoire, in Tunisia, for SOS Children, also in South Africa. Um, I recently um, have been working for the last five years on a musical documentary called Flashback, the history of UK British black music. And we have, you know, if you go to flashbackprojectuk.com, flashbackprojectuk.com, you will see all these different people who've contributed to UK British black music, like people like Billy Ocean, Eddie Grant, Imagination, um, a lot of reggae groups, a lot of soul groups, a lot of funk groups. But we start from the beginning of, say, the 19th century. So we have 1930s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. So it's been for me a lot of research, a lot of focus, a lot of in the work, and what everybody contributed to. But what happened was a very good friend of mine who's a superintendent in the police, Leroy Logan, who is in the film. We were like brothers. I'm godfather to his son. I was best man at his wedding. So we talk, we talk, we talk. His, his, our lives were like this as children. And he went to become a police and I went to become an entertainer. And he went very high because everybody knows him. And he's very much about the, the youth the youth program so much so he asked me to be a patron for the youth program to interject um, risk, you know support and responsibility for to, to show the youth because they're fighting there's knives they're shooting there's too much so we have to do something about this but it starts with the families and what's happening you have a lot of young girls getting pregnant and bringing up children they are children and they have children and it's a catastrophe it's it's crazy so we're trying to instill with them education 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 family unity in the community so with the film i thought you know what i'm going to release police and thieves the record um, and the lyrics are very relevant. They've got biblical terminologies in it, but also we are policing ourselves now because we don't trust the police. We, we you know, everybody's, anyone in political, uh, they, in, in powers, they have different agendas to the normal people. So as people, we are policing and the thieves are the ones we put into power. That's what's that's how it's come. That's worked out. You've seen in South America and all these places, they're disposing of this one and that one, corruption, da 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 da. So I decided with police and thieves to use it as a platform uh, and a political platform to actually say, look, we need more unity, we need more peace, we need more hello to your neighbors. Hi, what's happening with the kids over there? Nowadays, especially in the UK, you find you, you, you say, Hi Johnny, how are you? He looks at you like instead of like, hey, good morning. You know, there's so much aggression. And this is not just there, but around the world. I went to Paris, and outside Paris, there was a lot of uh, youngsters I was speaking to. They were having problems because when they go into central Paris, there's aggravation from the police um, because of the way they look or their style or what have you. Um, you know, I was in Santa Lucia in four weeks ago, and there's a youth program there where you find that the youth were having problems they'd leave school and they'd go into the the, the town and um it was causing craziness and i think social media is a uh, has a good and bad side and what's happening is people are looking like this and not focusing on the reality we need to go a little bit more analog so, uh, social media has some really great things for me, for research, for things like this, it's amazing. But for the youth, they, they will see this, I don't like this person, he's living here. Or this, you know, it's, you understand what I'm saying? It's just so much aggravation. So for me, to do the film, I wanted to show 
what other people have represented. You've got a, um, the, the ex-gang leader, his story. Um, he went through a, a, a very um, termulous time because he was a, a kid, he was in a fight, and he stabbed someone. And he, for the rest of his life, he has this to deal with. And then you have the policeman who shows what he's did. You have the complete opposite. And we all came from the same place. So I'm like the catalyst bringing it all together. So I'm just around it to show, well, look. And then you have a broadcaster, a female broadcaster. She's one of the premier broadcasters in the UK and who's black, female. You know, I wanted to show the female side of things as well because they are the backbone to a lot of what we do. My mother is the backbone to me. You know, I'm very proud of my mother because she's 91 now, next year, next July. And she's been involved in the community for many years. And uh, it's a very funny thing because people see me, they see body talk, flashback, music, like illusion. But there's another side. Everybody has a different side to them. So it's not one dimensional. And I just thought the timing is right. When I come back home and I'm seeing disruption, I'm seeing um, next to me, I have to open my mouth and say something. And it's got to be on a peaceful level. So. For example, I had a big uh, event um, last week before last, <clears throat> and many, many people came from youth counsellors, um, from the mayor's office, um, even uh, Jeffrey Daniels from Shalimar. He came and he spoke, and uh, it was gr it was great to see people wanting to come together, wanting to talk, wanting to show. Um, tell us their problems, but how we can try and make a better place. That's what it's about. It's where do we go from here? We need to make things better. So by showing, because um, young kids don't know the history of music. You'll know imagination, you know this one. So they won't know. They'll know the music, but you know they don't know the history. And I think they need to know the history because that will give them more inspiration for them to take their lives and make changes, to make positive changes. And that's what it's about, making positive changes. And also um, trying to, make the planet better, you know, and themselves. And the next generation will be in me. I would like the universe to fall in love again. 